Growth stocks, such as technology stocks, are riskier because they deal in ideas and technologies that have a high failure potential. However, value stocks, such as Nucor, which deals in industrial metals, are less risky due to established demand for the foreseeable future. Therefore, value stocks with strong fundamentals not only provide steady and stable price appreciation, but also provide stable dividends. However, researching the fundamentals of each and every value stock can become very time-consuming and cumbersome for average investors. Therefore, dividend-focused mutual funds, such as the Vanguard High Dividend Yield Index Fund Admiral Shares, with a stable, dividend-paying history, are ideal and affordable investment vehicles for retail investors. 5. Land and Real Estate Accountants consider land as a non-depreciable asset for a very valid reason. It is scarce and always in demand. Since the beginning of time, land has been one of the most valuable resources in the world. We need land for homes, schools, factories, agriculture, and commercial spaces, among others. And with a growing human population, its demand will never fall. Similarly, residential homes, office spaces, and commercial properties built on the land are also always in demand. Therefore, both land and real estate act as excellent inflation hedges in your investment portfolio. To look at some numbers, according to a Bloomberg study, housing prices have tripled between 1992 and 2020s, despite a huge dip during the 2008 housing bubble. Therefore, having real estate exposure always comes in handy when the dollar starts losing value. However, most small investors only think of getting into real estate much later in their lives because they only think of real estate in terms of the house they live in, while owning a fully paid up home is a net worth goal for when you are in your 40s. Having a slice of the retail property market is recommended at every age. Also, against the most common belief, you don't need to have a lot of money to gain real estate exposure. 